Chapter 10 Strangers in the Village Early one morning, Mithu, Meena's parrot, saw a group of strangers walking tiredly towards the edge of the village. Mithu woke up Meena and her brother Raju. The children followed Mithu to see what he was so excited about. There was a little girl at the water pump. Suddenly, a man appeared and led the girl away. Meena, Raju and Mithu silently followed the girl, Mala and her father. Just over the ridge, they saw a crowd of strangers setting up camp. Meena and Raju were shocked. The people looked frightened and tired. Some were wounded and in pain. I'm scared, Meena, let's go home, said Raju. Meena and Raju raced home. Their teacher was sitting with the family. Everyone listened quietly as the children described what they had seen. Some of the people were wounded, said Meena. They were bleeding, said Raju. Father had heard of the trouble in a village far away. Meena wanted to know why people had to leave their homes. Sometimes, when adults fight, innocent people have to run away to protect themselves, explained Meena's father. Everyone was very concerned for these people. Later, Meena saw Mala again. The shopkeeper was refusing to sell matches to her. He did not trust the settlers and did not want anything in his village. Go away. This money is not enough, said the shopkeeper. Please, we need the matches to cook, pleaded Mala. Meena took the money from Mala and bought the matches. The shopkeeper was angry when he realized what Meena had done. The girls became friends. Next day, after school, Meena and Raju went to meet the new children. Mala told them about the terrible fight that had taken place in her village. Some bad people had attacked Mala's village in the night. There was shooting and houses were set on fire. It was dark and people ran to save their lives. In the panic, Mala's grandmother got lost. Mala's friend was missing too. Mala began to cry and Meena comforted her. I will be your friend, Mala, said Meena. When Meena and Raju returned home, they heard angry neighbors talking about the settlers. Who are they? Send them away. What if they steal our crops? said one of the neighbors, angrily. Meena's mother, grandmother, and teacher tried to calm everyone down. Our tradition is to help people in need, said grandmother. The health worker and I will go to meet them this afternoon. Yes, we should talk with the strangers, said my teacher. The teacher and the health worker did meet the settlers, and the next day, when Meena arrived at school, there was a surprise waiting for her. Meena's friends were not happy to see the children from the camp. They had heard their parents say bad things about the settlers. If you play with her, we won't be friends anymore, said one of Meena's friends. Poor Meena. She liked Mala and had promised to be her friend. She decided that she would sit with Mala in class. After school, Meena's friends warned her again. She became sad and thoughtful as she and Mala said goodbye. Shall we meet tomorrow? asked Mala. Yes, settler, we will go to school together, said Meena. In the morning, Meena's friends came to collect her. They marched her off to school and kept her away from Mala. Meena did not know what to do. Meena felt so bad about hurting Mala's feelings. Mala was very upset and would not look at Meena. The next day, none of the camp children came to school. Meena felt sorry about breaking her promise to be Mala's friend. Teacher seemed to know what had happened. Were you all nice to the new children? Will you be friendly and kind to them from now on? Asked the teacher to everyone present in the class. At home, the villagers were again discussing the settlers. They decided it was time to visit the camp. That evening, the headman led a group of villagers towards the settlers' camp. Meena wanted to meet Mala, so she joined in. The villagers and the settlers came face to face for the first time. The settlers looked worried. Everyone was very tense. Nobody spoke. Suddenly, Mala broke through the group. Meena ran towards her and they greeted each other. The tension broke. Mala, I am sorry, apologized Meena. Now, the adults relaxed. Sticks were put down and everyone began to talk. The headman promised to talk to the authorities to try and get help for the settlers. In the meantime, the two groups would have to learn to live together and help each other. 
From that day, Mina's villagers began to help the settlers, and the settlers began helping in the villagers' fields. Best of all, Mana and the other children returned to school.